The Brockton School District is taking steps to make its schools safer. It is planning to hire a director of security and double its security staff. It also commissioned an independent audit of its security. Yeah, the fights in the high school have really dominated the headlines. But what is it like in Brockton High on just a normal day? WBZ's Christina Rex spent two days there and brings us an exclusive look at the challenges the school is facing on a daily basis. Not an airport or a government building. Good morning. Instead, a high school. It's a school you've heard about a lot lately. The students at one high school are so out of control, educators, they're calling in the National Guard. But ask the superintendent of Brockton Public Schools. Brockton High School is not just fights. It's more than fight. A letter sent by half the Brockton School Committee to the governor last month referenced a, quote, disturbing increase in incidents related to violence, referencing kids roaming the halls and leaving school property. The result was a firestorm of attention, um, even a report calling Brockton High the most dangerous school in America. The letter that was sent to the governor was not a stunt. We heard our teachers, we heard our students. So what is it really like behind closed doors? We spent two days inside Brockton High for a first-hand look. No blowout brawls, no mutiny in the halls in our two days at the school. Students and staff admit there is a problem. Go Boxers! Woo! It starts at morning announcements. Miss Bennett. Social science. This list, teachers absent without a substitute. On this particular day, there were 16. Kids who should be in those classes learning are instead in the cafeteria, supervised by one teacher on duty. Thank you. Angela Gerodier is a teacher and a 2018 graduate. How is the Brockton High you teach at the same or different from the Brockton High you graduated from? There was a stricter demerit system. Like, we couldn't even wear spaghetti straps. Um, there were a lot more teachers around. Staffing levels are the heart of the issue. An $18 million budget deficit discovered this past summer led to 113 teacher layoffs in the district. Now the school can't fill positions. Kids are like, well, I'm going to do whatever I want to do because there isn't consistency. And I think these kids respond well to consistency. That's what happens when you see a teacher stay. Okay. I think we have the exact same issues that any high school, any place, anywhere has. But we have more people. So if you look at it, it seems worse than it is. That bad rep has actually dwindled enrollment. We've lost 800 kids. How you doing? With 3,700 kids right now, Brockton High is still the largest public school in Massachusetts and one of the largest in the country. It's broken down into four houses to give kids a tighter knit community. I need to see IDs, friends. Teachers' heads are on a swivel for skippers or wanderers. Because while many students flourish in their classrooms, the momentum stays the same. When violence breaks out, it happens in the rush of a crowded hall. Yeah, if you're not where you're supposed to be, they'll snatch you in the hall, you pray like that, put you in the house. That's why a walk of rounds yeah. with Principal McCaskill sounds like. I got that idea, you're loving it. All right, folks, let's go. Get that hood for me, get that hood for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This idea that Brockton High is an unsafe place to walk down the hall, <laughs> is that true to you? No. No, um, I have not felt unsafe once. Kids speak truths that grown-ups often overlook. What do you think about the fact that we're doing a story inside Brockton High? I, 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 love love it. Don't like, I think I Brockton love High is an amazing school. school. It's just it's the not... bad side gets out too much. We gotta get, we gotta spread the good side of it. What's it like to go to school here? Very, it depends day to day. One day you could have a really good day at the school and then the next day it's like completely out of control. Have you ever witnessed a fight here? Um, like once or twice, I think. In my four years, I've never seen a fight in person. Snapchat's a different story. And there, the new major challenge lies in the palms of students' hands. Everybody has a cell phone now, so when it gets out, it just gets blown up. It's that moment, captured online, that perpetuates that bad reputation. It feels worse because I could see the same video clip of the same fight 15 times. So for now, metal detectors, ID scans, Brockton school police presence, and clearing the halls. All right, let's go, gentlemen, let's go. As the school takes its next steps toward a safer tomorrow. Inside Brockton High School, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Mm, wow, great story, really Christina. And she has another story coming up tomorrow night where she's going to introduce us to some students already doing just amazing work in Brockton. And she's also going to show us solutions that the school is already exploring 
and illuminate the areas where it still needs support. That airs tomorrow night right here at 6 o'clock. I'm so proud that we did that story because you can't just stop at the headlines that go national that say terrible things about places. You need to go inside and see what's really happening. And hear from the kids and the teachers yep. who are there every single day.